Hey everyone, this is Nate, and this is the Nader Tater channel. All right, today we're going to cover how you can find out your exact tower, your cell phone tower, that you're connected to with your internet service. So this is going to be with this Chester Cheetah device, and um, you know I've been covering this on T-Mobile Home Internet, Verizon Home Internet, but pretty much any SIM card that accepts data can work in here, and you can use this as a um, a router uh, for your home internet or for your travel internet or whatnot. So, um, obviously, knowing where your tower is can help you with where you place the gateway, and especially if you have external antennas. Uh, you might have seen some of my recent videos where I put on an external 4x4 antenna. You need to know which direction to point that antenna in order to uh, aim it the best. So, I'm going to go in there. It is a couple command lines, but it's pretty easy to do. And uh, there is also conversion. So, there's a couple tricks to it, but it is very straightforward once you know what the tricks are. So, I'll go through that. And what I will say about this is, you might see other devices like this that uh, have the same um, or very similar housing around them. And what I like about this was called the Chester Cheetah because it's Chester Tech Repairs is the company. They're in uh, New York, I think, that um, assemble these here in the U.S. and New York. And then uh, the other thing I really like about them is that they do a lot of development work and support work. So I've messaged the guy a few times. Uh, back and forth, oftentimes late at night, and uh, the tower things is one of the things that uh, was on the list. There's more things that um, um, are being looked at. You know, I know they're looking at a cell tower lock, which is technically, I think, feasible. Um, there's some tricks to figure out there. But what I really like about the Chester Tech Repairs is they provide that service and support uh, to develop this. And in fact, these instructions are on their website, on their blog. So I'm basically following um, their blog. I'm adding a little bit more details uh, in there for this. So let's log in to the unit itself. Once you have it plugged up and on, you connect to it via Wi-Fi, or if you want to hook it up via Ethernet, that is fine too. Okay, so here we go. I am hooked up to it, and if I go, um, you know, I guess I'll show you their web page, where if I go to um, chestertechrepairs.com, um, they have a blog. It is a little bit hard to search through. The, ch the easiest way is just hit the search icon, and you can type in something like tower for this one and hit uh, hit search, and then it will search the blogs too. So you can see there right there at the top left uh, is a tower hunting find yourself tower blog. So in here you can see it looks maybe a little bit daunting at first, but it's actually very straightforward. Um, so I'm just going to copy um, and paste, or I guess I'll just copy it first, this top line because I'm going to use that to put into a command here to the actual gateway and you can see what it says there if I look down at the sample response it shows me that um, we need to take the first five letters of that what's that the third or fourth entry there and we're going to have to use that so let's go over here to show you how you do that you go down to here to AT commands and then I'm just going to paste that um, command that is in the blog hit enter it's going to take a second uh, to respond. There we go. So now I can see that my center, um, my response there, I just need to take in this, hit copy. So that's 80 DFA, and that is a, um, a hexadecimal that I need to convert. So um, he also provides a link on that blog, uh, but you can use any hexadecimal uh, calculator to, um, to type it in. And then there we go, I get this uh, answer. So this 527866 is my tower identifier. So now I can go to uh, cellmapper.net. All right, so I'm using a tablet here. So this is a slightly different interface um, than if you were on a computer. On a computer, I think it actually asks you nowadays when you first go to it, of what provider you want to do so you hit um, you know for me right now this is going to be Verizon because it's a Verizon sim in there but you could hit T-Mobile if that's what you're at so you, if you're on a mobile like I am here you can go to provider first this one you can see it has Verizon listed because that's what I um, had before and to get that you can either type in Verizon or you can type in this 311480 if you're on T-Mobile uh, the shortest way is 3102 uh, six zero, and they'll get you that T-Mobile one um, and so you do need to uh, pick the provider first and then once you do that you can go to the search icon 
and I can go to this tower search and this is where I'm going to type in the decimal version of my tower and then you can see it's listed so if you do not get a result there um, you see where it's um, you know the, the uh, green text then that means you did something wrong you either have the wrong provider selected or um, you have the wrong um, conversion you know the decimal number you typed in is not correct or it could be I mean it could be that the tower is actually new so new that it doesn't even register on here um, you could also try to go and you know I'm on my provider Verizon on 4G there's a slight chance you might have to click 5G but typically 4G is um, what I found is the best data actually not using the 5G data that's in cell mapper so anyways you click on that tower you get a wonderful ad and then it zooms in to where your tower is at so this now shows me where my tower is and um, and and then you can now go you know dive deeper into that as far as looking on Google Maps you can like you know find exactly where it's at you can do line of sight you can start doing some other tools to figure out you know your best trajectory to get there but that is how you do this tower search pretty straightforward and easy if you like this video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe thanks